equal rights amendment sail through the Senate. If you're in favor of this fraudulent amendment, I don't think you have any business calling yourself a Republican. Do we want women to be treated just like men? Mrs. America describes the battle in the 1970s to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment. Our movement is about fighting the oppression of all women. How long are we supposed to wait? It's a very ambitious, very sprawling sort of story about second wave feminism and all the players that that involves. All right, ladies, it's time to go in and have our voices heard. Phyllis Schlafly was a force of nature and one of the quintessential grassroot conservative organizers I think this country has ever seen. I am not against women or women working outside the home, but what I am against is the women's liberation movement. The series became about much more than the Equal Rights Amendment fight. It became about the ascension of the religious right in this country and the culture wars that still plague us today. The liberals want to create a sex-neutral feminist totalitarian nightmare. Do you know what you're saying has no basis in fact? We're exploring so many different facets of this movement and all these different characters over a 10-year span. It's incredible to have these recognizable faces. When I founded this National Women's Political Caucus. We all founded it better. You, me, Gloria, Shirley. The National Women's Political Caucus was an organization started by women like Betty Friedan, Bella Abza, creating a space for women's voices to be heard. This is how we support. We support. 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 This is how we defeat the Equal Rights Amendment. Mrs. America starts to weave off into the lives of all these characters, and you see what's going on behind the scenes in their personal life, all the dynamics within the movement. The struggles that they went through then have become apparent again today. Women are still fighting for true equality. This fight is not about uh, equality. It's about power. Not that much has changed in 50 years, and everything that's in the headlines of the paper now were the th same things that these characters were fighting about. We can take our country back. So if you're on one side of the political divide, you're watching the rise of a superhero. And if you're on the other side of the political divide, you're watching the rise of a supervillain. Why would God put this fire in me if he didn't want me to act on it?